We asked you, the viewers, to send in photos paying tribute to our service men and women on this Veterans Day. And we got so many photos, we don't have time to show them all, but we're going to show you a couple. Let's start over here. We're going to start with this one that Connie sent in. This is her husband, Jim, and he served on the USS Denver in 1990, this picture taken in Hawaii. Thank you so much for your service. Oh, I love this. My son, Nate, holding a picture of his grandfather, Ronald Frabel, who served in the Navy during World War II. He actually brought it to school to share it with the other kids, teaching our younger generations. My uncle, Donald Edwards, he was taken prisoner of war while fighting in North Korea on November 30th. He died while a prisoner of war, January 31st, 1951. She says, I never met my uncle, but he is still my hero. Amazing stories. Oh, I love this one too. Victoria says this is her significant other giving his daughter a kiss before his one year deployment. A lot of this affects families so much. Here we have an old newspaper clipping that Danny sent in, Miss Carmel O'Hora, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Eugene O'Hora, and she was in a second lieutenant in the Air Force, a nurse. Thank you for your service. Also, parade day with Grandpa, who's a Vietnam veteran. That's a very cute photo. We love that. James McGee sent in this, his father, Jim McGee, who is in the 101st Airborne. Very nice photo. Thank you so much. And I love this. My Aunt Mary McGee, she was in the Marine Corps. She's 93 years young now, and she's still tough as nails. I love to see that, too. And I want to end with, uh, this is my sister and her husband. They served in the Air Force. And I want to say thank you to my sister, Jessica, for her service as well.